Hello everyone again, Daniel here, and today we're going to be doing on the video on the guild boss for today. Um, this guild boss today, his name is Drake Knight, and he is a more skill based guild boss. Um, he does have two forms, of course the dragon form and then the knight form. Um, what we want to go ahead and do is build a team around the knight form. We want to go ahead and be doing a lot of damage um, based on attack rather than skill damage. Right now I'm going to go ahead and show my lineup. I have the Wolvenfiend, Enchantress, Rene Van, Arcane Caster, and Toxic Shaman. Toxic Shaman for a little bit of heal and Wolf for the damage. Um, we have the Rene to go ahead and revive Enchantress or the Arcane Caster. We can go ahead and choose either one depending on how we're going to be faring in the skill boss. Um, but I'll go ahead and show this lineup for just a little bit longer. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and just jump into the skill boss. Go ahead and... Um, I have used one attack right now. I didn't get a very good score. I only got 7.5 million. But I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this and see how we can do. Right now to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and just drop um, my wolf and feed right there. Since these are two flying heroes, I'm just going to go ahead and push them right there. They can start getting damage. And Toxic Shaman is a ranged hero, so let's go ahead and activate there. And Rene Van in the same spot. And since we're going for damage, let's go ahead and just activate Enchantress and Wolf and Fiend skill. That will increase damage by a lot. We're already up to 2 million. And right now I'm just going to go ahead and do this because it increases skill damage. And do this, just those two, just get them out of the way. They won't have any issue with the previous thing. And we're done, so I'm going to need to activate Enchantress Divine. Oops, okay, we may have an issue, Enchantress already activated her Pangolead, um, but we're going to see what we can do. Uh, right now we are on the damage phase, so let's go ahead and activate Enchantress skill. And we're not going to activate Wolvenfiend, of course, because that will change it to a human form, and that will be for health base. Uh, in just a moment, once the 5 seconds ends, we're going to go ahead and do Toxic Shaman skill, and then the Rene Ven skill. And unfortunately we did lose Wolvenfiend, and that was because I went ahead and held out for Enchantress skill. And right now since we're still in the damage phase, I'm going to go ahead and activate Toxic Shaman's skill again. And I'm not going to activate Arcane Caster again. I am going to go ahead and activate Enchantress though, because we'll be in the damage phase right now. And we are kind of getting low on health, so I'm going to go ahead and activate this. See if we can recover a little bit of HP, even though we are in the damage phase. I still kind of need HP, so right now, um, I shouldn't probably shouldn't have activated that just yet. But I'm going to go ahead and get some more heals, let's go ahead and just activate this right here, and see if we can get the Enchantress back, nope, okay. We went ahead and already got past that point. Uh, right now it's just going to go ahead and be a spam fest, I'm just going to go ahead and activate the last Arcane Caster Divine, hopefully went ahead and target Arcane Caster, um, go ahead and activate and Toxic Shaman skill get a little bit more, and we got 9.3. Um, not terrible, but it is still better than the 7.2 that we got before. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just do one more attack here. See if we can try to do any sort of tweaking. Of course, we're going to do Wolven Fiend, and then let's go ahead and just jump, put those two right now. And we have it ranged. Let's go ahead and just put those right now. Let's do Enchantress skill, get some early damage. And of course we're going to do the Wolven Fiend as well. And once it changes right there, we're going to get some early damage. And then once this, okay, right there. And now we're going to go ahead and activate his skill in Divine. Gets a lot more damage that way. I'm going to go ahead and activate Enchant uh, Arcane Caster's skill. We'll go ahead and help recover HP. And hopefully we can actually activate Enchantress Divine. Yes, we activate Enchantress Divine before it actually went ahead and went to his Pangoliade, so we might end up doing better so far. Right now we are in the damage phase, I'm going to go ahead and activate Enchantress skill. And right now I'm kind of dying, so I'm going to have to recover um, Enchantress's Divine. Hopefully I can do that pretty quickly. Awesome, activate Enchantress Divine. And right now, I should have waited a second. But right now we're just going to go ahead and work through this, see how long we can last. Right now we're in the skill damage phase. I'm going to go ahead and activate Toxic Shaman skill, get some skill damage. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and do this, just because it doesn't actually dispel this part. Um, but right now we're in the actual damage phase. I do need healing though, so I'm going to go ahead and activate Toxic Shaman skill. And that will go ahead and help my heal heroes recover HP. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually 
recover, revive the Wolverine. Let's see if we can go ahead and actually get a lot more damage that way. Um, right now we'll be doing the skill damage. Let's go ahead and activate this. Right now I'm going to go ahead and activate Arcane Caster skill. And then once I see... Oh, well we already have the end of the time. So let's go ahead and activate her Divine. And I think that's actually... Yeah, we're not beating our score previously. Uh, I think we're going to just have to be capped at 9 million, unfortunately. Um, but the ideal thing I want to do is... Let's go ahead and go back to my formation. I want to go ahead and activate Wolf of Fiend and Toxic early. So we can go ahead and just pump out the damage early. And then once the heroes get kind of low, we're going to activate Enchantress Divine. And then towards the end of the battle, I want to go ahead and activate Arcane Caster skill and Divine. And then use Rene Divine to go ahead and recover Arcane Caster Divine. So we can use that twice to reflect all that damage back onto the guild boss. And that'll go ahead and raise my score. But unfortunately, Arcane Caster wasn't targeted by the guild boss. They went ahead and targeted what looked like Enchantress and the Woven Fiend, um, which was quite unfortunate. But that went ahead and reduced my score quite a bit. If it did target um, Arcane Caster, I could probably see my score getting around, getting around 11 million, all the way up to 14 million if I got really, really lucky about it hitting Arcane Caster. Um, but that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. Go ahead and mention anything that you'd like to see. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for watching. And peace.